Hello, welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Women's Volleyball Coach Dave Trumbo. And Coach, we've got a lot to talk about. Um, Thankfully, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, let's start with um, the Matt Commonwealth Conference Tournament. We'll start Wednesday night. Um, you beat Alverni in the semifinals. Kind of take us to that match a little bit. You, your team came ready to play that night. Yes, I, I thought they did. I, we did not play very strong against um, Alvernia. I felt like even though we did beat them during the regular season, it was senior night, um, and their top player did a pretty good job against it this time. We we held her to 0, 0, 0 and Mariah and Victoria really did a good job stopping her, uh, Which and then we serve the ball extremely well, and we're able to run our offense in system quite a bit. And when that happens, we're tough to stop. So I felt like we really played well. We played with a lot of energy, had a lot of fun that night. Yeah. So that advanced you to the conference final for the sixth straight year. Um, a new foe this time in Arcadia, mm -hmm. a team that you had a pretty intense match with during the regular season. And um, kind of a similar match this time around, very intense. Um, Arcadia, you know, Arcadia came to play. I mean, I think one time you leaned over to me and said, hey, they're just not making any mistakes. Like, this is the best. I, we, <laughs> yeah. We've seen them. Yeah, and they, and they weren't. They weren't making any mistakes, and we absolutely had to earn that win. And, you know, the three sets we won, it was 20-20. Right. You know, and it's like, and it is much different um, – passing at 2020 than it is at 0-0. Right. Uh, so I felt like we made some big plays at the end of those matches and our experience play, uh, played out pretty well for us. Uh, I thought Arcadia had a very good game plan um, and thankfully we have six kids that can all hit. Yep. You know, and then Lauren Weaver comes up huge. Here's somebody that's not a first team, not a second team, not even honorable mention all conference, and she's the MVP. Yeah. Well, that says volumes about what our team is. And, you know, because we have uh, you know, so much depth and so many people can do, you know, can carry us. And uh, really our right sides uh, carried us that day. Mariah and mm -hmm. Lauren had both had good matches. Annika played okay, yeah. but um, – Really, probably not her typically really great match, yeah. you know. But uh, we had it from the right side that particular day. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you, you went out three one. Um, you know, six straight. You know, like we talked about a little bit on Saturday too. Like I think both the third and fourth sets, you were down probably like eighteen fifteen, and were able to come back and win those. Is that just having that experience of having been there? I think that you know, like um, Deanna and Annika passed two of the their best games of the year almost I mean we just were in system and serve received so often which meant we could set the right side we didn't yeah. have to go with the outside all the time uh, and being there both of them seniors both of them have been received well yeah. Deanna for three years Annika for four years you know so that kind of experience uh, and then um, you know Annika some big serves at the end yeah absolutely um, so then um, before we circle to this week um, let's look at um, obviously all conference teams came out Mm -hmm. um, we had three on the first team. Um, just talk about what that means to you know those kids. Obviously, Annika being a four-time, Deanna three-time, I believe, all-conference performer. Uh, uh, we kind of talk about if your team does well, you should get awards. Yeah. If your team doesn't do well, it's really tough to, to you get awards. Absolutely. So it's very, it's it's a team award. Um, it's really nice to be recognized and have three kids on the first team and then two kids on the second. Uh, Mariah and Victoria were yeah. on second, and Katie and Deanna and Annika were on first. Uh, and, you know, and it, it's such a team game, Greg. I mean, I, I believe that either one of our setters uh, could have been first team Absolutely. had we been running a 5-1 because yeah. I think they're that good. Uh, but because – we're a better team in a 6-2, yeah. and they're only on the court for three rotations, they shouldn't have been voted first team. Right. I don't think they should have been voted first team, but I think they have the ability to be first team. Absolutely. Uh, as I do most of our players, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I'm kind of biased about that. Yeah. But uh, So, yeah, we, we, were, we were pleased um, the way that worked out. Yeah. And obviously, like you said, just the depth of the team, you know, Lauren Weaver not making, like you said, any all-conference team steps up and is your championship MVP. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and it couldn't happen to a nicer person, yeah. you know, and so, so unassuming, you know, she had no clue that her name was going to be called out. She was yeah. just shocked. It was kind of like the first time, freshman year, first match, we told her she was starting, and you could tell that in practice, but she was sh blown away <laughs> right. when she started her first match as a, as a freshman, uh, but that's the kind of person that she is, and yeah. uh, she's not thinking about what she's getting, she's thinking about what the team, can, what she can do for the team. Yeah, and then so obviously with the win, um, obviously you knew you were in the NCAAs going to the selection show on Monday. What you didn't know and what the team didn't know was that you 
were selected to host one of the eight regionals, and that's a first for the program. Um, you know, just talk about what that means. You know, obviously you've been in the NCAAs, but this is going to be a new experience for the team. Well, I, I think uh, that we have worked really hard this year. Yeah. We've won some really close matches, and for the team, it is a reward for a lot of hard work mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of sweat <laughs> over, yeah. over this season and seasons before, you know, right. leading up to, to high, you know, high school and club and, right. you know, and then into college. So it, it's a great reward for our program. It's a chance for our institution to um, showcase itself yeah. um, regionally as the seven uh, ranked or seven teams are coming in here to play. Uh, and um, third, we don't have to play the number one seed at home yeah. because we are hosting. And so it gives us the best opportunity that we've had to possibly win. Yeah. And obviously your first round opponent on Friday is going to be Hunter. Um, obviously you've had a couple of days now. What have you been able to learn about them? I think they're underrated. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they're a really tough uh, seven seed. They're 27 and four. Yeah. Uh, they're very big. They're very physical at the net. Uh, they've got a lot of, um, they've got some upper upperclassmen on the pins, uh, a very good setter. Um, so a lot of times uh, they've not they, they played MIT, yeah. you know, so a ranked team that they did not beat, but they've got beat some good teams. Yeah. So it's it's going to be a very difficult first at Brown match. Yeah, and obviously we're hoping. Obviously it's been a great atmosphere for these playoff games. We're hoping for that again this weekend. I really hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> That's the advantage. We got to use every advantage yeah. we can get playing at home on our own court. Being used to our lights yeah. and being able to sleep in our own bed and not have to travel are huge advantages. So I'm just I'm hoping and praying we can take advantage of that. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. Hopefully we'll see you for three matches this weekend, and we we'll talk to you next week. Uh, best of luck this weekend. Um, we hope to see everyone at Owensville Gymnasium Friday night, 8 o'clock, uh, Mustangs against Hunter. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.